Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a sidechain compressor effect for pumping bass lines often found in progressive and electro house. So, first thing I did was to create a simple house beat. Okay, so the next step that I did was to duplicate that beat onto another track and then I double clicked on the clip here and down here in the editor I took out all of the notes except for the kick drum and so then what I did was I, I made a simple bass line which um, before I put the sidechain compressor on it, it sounded like this Okay, pretty simple. And so then what I did was put this sidechain compressor on it. Now this is a great free one that I found called Slim Slow Slider. Or at least that's the name of the company. And um, put the settings to minus 33.6 dB on the threshold. Ratio up all the way. Attack down to 1 millisecond. Hold down to 0. Release to 132 milliseconds and gain up 6.5 dB. So you can play with those settings to get different kinds of effects but that's the one I was going for. So then I'm going to activate this plugin and right here on the the second drum track with just the kick um, we're going to go down here to audio 2 and we're going to choose the track that I put the sidechain compressor on and then right below that you choose the sidechain compressor from the list and so that sends the kick drum into that sidechain compressor um, so you won't actually hear it if I play this you won't hear anything um, because it's actually sending the signal into the sidechain compressor and not out the master track so you're not hearing that but you can see it but if I start this bass line You can see how that could be a useful effect to know how to do if you want to make progressive and electro house. Sounds pretty familiar, I'm guessing, um, if you've listened to much. So that's all for today. Be sure to check out my website, intuitivebeats.com. I'm DJ Story, and have a great evening.